Hello, everybody. We are uh, back and playing some Mario World. Um, if you were there last time on our Mario Mondays, we had uh, the last Mario 3 I was going to do for a while. I'm going to revisit it now that I understand it a little better. I think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to play uh, through and, like, you know, save lives, save power-ups, things like that that I'll need for the end. Um, I just, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know any better. <laughs> uh, Princess Toadstool is missing. Okay. Whoops. God damn. I literally, every time I play this or game or use the Switch, I do something stupid like that. How do I just start? <laughs> okay. It just, it was just waiting. Sorry, that was me. Um, but yeah, like, I, I think it's just as a matter of, um, you know, getting to know the, uh, I, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> where's the where's the sprint on this? Okay, I have to hold that to sprint. Oh my god, guys. So, like I say, I think it was just kind of a matter of getting to know, um, you know, the Mario Three game and the levels and everything like that. Oh, okay, God, what is what? What can you stand on and what can't you stand on in this game? Now, I, like I said, I've played Mario World a little bit. I never had a Super Nintendo growing up. Um, could not afford. But what we could do was play it on the Switch like a couple of weeks and months ago. Um, well, I guess, God, when this comes out, it'll be like almost six months since I last played this. Um, I kind of remember how to play it. But, you know, we are, uh, you know, we're doing the thing now. We're, we're doing it pretty fresh. Honestly, this is probably the game I've had the least amount of experience on. And uh, the game I understand the littlest about. Um, okay, this is something I do, right? Okay. It sure is something you do. <laughs> God, I this little... Look at this little callback to uh, the first Super Mario. I like that a lot. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to kill some people for... Uh, you know, lives and stuff. Look how much better this game looks. Just, It's just such a good-looking game. I was going to say, he better die. I mean, I'm shooting him with all kinds of fire and stuff. But yeah, this game just looks so good. Like, I don't know, man. <clears throat> I love playing this. I love the way it's like... It's just a fun little interactive world. You can go different ways. So apparently what I understand is the red dots on the map, there are two exits, like a secret one and a regular one. And then, um, what the hell's going on here? Oh. Okay. Run, Mario. Yeah, so the Switch controller, I gotta upload a picture. Well, I mean, you guys know what a Joy-Con looks like. My thumb is almost the size of one entire Joy-Con. So trying to use these buttons, like holding the, the sprint button and using the jump, I essentially just finger every single thing on the joystick or Joy-Con. That little mu mushroom nub joystick thing that's there, I hit all of the buttons at the same time. I, I mean, you know me, I complain about the Pro Controller like it's going out of style. Or no, complain about the Switch and need the need the Pro Controller. I'm very confused right now. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, as usual, I'm getting off topic. So you see how it's yellow? It flashes yellow with a little orange. That means it's one exit. But it would be flashing red with a little bit of yellow if um, it was the other way around. So that's something that I know because of my friend C. Cooper. One, three, nine... Two six three one. That is his name on YouTube and his name on Twitch, and he's a great guy. I love him very much. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me that. Give me all that. See, I don't know if eating this stuff even matters. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously eating the shells matters, but I don't know if like eating the fruit matters. I'm eating the fruit, but you know, I don't. I don't know if that does anything for me. I've always been a little bit confused. Something I like a lot about this game is you get a lot of lives. Like, they give you a lot of opportunities to get lives in this game. And, um, it's, it's nice because, 
Mario 3, you have a lot of opportunities to get lives, but they're very difficult opportunities. Look at these guys just jumping out of the ground. Also, what do you think that is? Is that a tail or... Or what? <laughs> that little outline. I'm not sure that that was a tail. It looked... I, I mean, maybe it was a tail. I don't know. It looked like he had a tail there, right? It's not a little furry feet, though, is it? It's not a turd. Uh, come on. Yeah, there you go. Oh, God. Okay. I really want to do the Star Road stuff on this. Um... But my skills in general are pretty lacking when it comes to uh, Mario. So, I mean, I'll do my best, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, see, that's just a regular level right there, too. All of the castles also, they have like special like little exits and things. Where, where am I going? Oh, okay. Look how freaking colorful this is. The music, everything's so good. You know what I didn't like? Um, at the, I mean, very first glance at this was every sound was very different. So I liked the fact that, like, the original Mario games had very similar sounds. Um, you know, mushrooms did the same noises and coins and all that stuff. And this, it just kind of changed everything. What the hell just happened? Why did Yoshi just leave like that? What the hell was that, actually? I, I have... I... I don't even know what the hell I was saying. What what just happened? Um, yeah, so... <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. But anyway... When I, when I first played this and all the sounds were different, I was like, um... This is not Mario. This is not the Mario I know. But it's like, who gives a shit, you old man? <laughs> None of the Mario is the Mario you know anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. And this is an old game, so this is one of the it's one of the co-founders of the series. And to be honest, I love the noises. I like the noise the fire makes, I like the noise the coin makes. I, I think it's I think it's really good. I actually like this a lot. It's it's a lot easier on the ears too, you know? And I think this whole experience is a very easy experience on the senses. It looks good, it sounds good, and everything but the Joy-Con feels good, you know what I mean? Hello? Fish? What are you all doing? Oh, I don't want that. God damn it. So that's something that's interesting. Is this is the game where you get certain items, but mushrooms still spawn, despite the fact that, like, you don't need the mushrooms, none. Oh, you... I think I can... Ah, uh, can I? I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, cause I'm supposed to throw that thing up there and... Oh my god, dude. I'm supposed to do stuff to get, like, an extra life. And, um... I got one for the Yoshi coins, but I did not get one for the fish. It's alright, though. That's a little short, cute level. Get through some of this, dude. We're kind of we're kind of moving on this one, huh? Kind of moving on this. I like it. I like it. What else we got going on here? Into the castle. Iggy's castle. Oh, there's not even a ghost house, is there? I just have to go. Just have to go fight it. Fight a dragon. Fight a dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an iconic kind of level. What the hell? I don't know. I thought I could punch him. I guess not. I have to ease down on their faces. Hello? Yeah, I was gonna say. Come on. Um... I, I just lost at what I'm doing most of the time in this game. I'm just hoping for the best. But like I say, it's a beautiful game on the senses. It's like a very colorful game. Super Nintendo just kind of kicked kicked, uh, kicked it into gear there. 
Oh my god. The less comfortable you are with, like, the mechanics of this game and the less comfortable your setup is. It's like these freaking, uh... Oh! Okay. That was not, uh, something I expected. <sighs> yeah, like I say, the less comfortable you are with your, uh, setup and, uh... Okay, I am just... I have no idea what's happening at any given moment here. No! <laughs> Gotta jump on him a bit. Oh, great, great. No, come... Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, dude. Can you come this way, please? I hate this. I've always hated this fight. Every time I played it, I've always hated that fight. He never stands in the right spot. Now I'm going in there with nothing but a naked Mario corpse. Whoa! Oh. God, I hate that thing so much. I hate it so much. It's not even like a warning. That stuff just comes at you, dude. I can't, like, shoot him with a lot of fire, can I, and just kill him? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter now, since I'm, you know, since I am not of the fire Mario prowess. Okay. There you go. God. Like, it's not that bad, but it could be better. Woo! All right, Mario, let's go. On to the next adventure. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. So just unborn friend? How does that happen? Uh, they now travel to Donut Land. That's cute. Hello? Okay. What is even happening? <laughs> See, okay, there you go. That one's all red right there. The one I just got on. Uh, yeah. Continue and save. So, that's how you can tell. Yeah, look at it. When I go up here, it's red. That's how you can tell that there's a secret exit. So I gotta find the secret exit. Although I don't think I can get the secret exit. Because I think I need some blocks or something to be done up. I don't know. Oh, you piece of shit. Well, luckily they give you feathers and, uh, you know, that other thing. What's it called? Feathers and mushrooms and just all kinds of stuff throughout the game. They really give you a lot of leeway on this one. I mean, they're like, hey, you, you, <laughs> you're you, going to need this, okay? You're going to need this. Just take it. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Great. Great. God, what the hell even? I always hate doing this. Oh, man. Just because I'm terrible at it. Absolutely terrible. And now we can do this. This one... All right, we got another feather. I'm trying to remember how to fly. I'm feeling like I can remember how to fly now. I'm not doing too bad. You have to, like, go forward and back or something like that. Yeah, okay. It's really a strange mechanic on this key, uh, keyboard. What the hell? On this controller. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. But look at all our lives. Alright, come on, run up. Run up, fool. Look how happy that little, like, triangle wedge thing is. <laughs> little pink wedge triangle. He's like, hey, <laughs> use me to run up here. I don't know what the hell I even am. What am I? 
Oh my god, he almost shot me. He almost shot me. Alright, I need to get this Yosh going here. Oh my god. Oh no. No, no! What is happening? Oh my god, dude. I need the Yosh. Wow, he really tried to screw me just now, too. What an asshole. Whoa! Oh, well, didn't want to do that. That's fine. <laughs> I guess you can't get the deal. Yeah, see, you can use that guy to get up there, but you can also get up there a different way, which is the way I'm going to attempt to get up there right now. Oh, my God. Um... Why don't I just get rid of this guy real quick, because he's really annoying me. There you go. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Uh, well, that's fine, I guess. Alright, if I run... There you go. Look at that. Look at this pro, dude. Jesus. Alright. Now we're in the water here. Um, before I take this on... I just want to thank you all for being here. We will pick this up next time. This is Super Mario World, dude. We're doing the thing. I'm in the pipe. I just looked at the time and was like, well, I think we better do this one. Um, but no, we, uh, we'll pick this up next time. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, definitely have a good one, and I will see you next time, y'all. Have a good one.